In this tutorial, we will learn how to change the speed of an animation in Blender via post-processing. That means, we may have an existing animation that is already rendered, but we can still create a slow motion version of the same. We can increase or decrease its speed in the video sequence editor that comes with Blender, it's commonly known as VSE. So let's say we have created an animation like this in Blender, and we have also rendered the output as an image sequence. But then we realize that it is too fast, and we want to change its speed without redoing the whole thing. So we have to go to this video sequence editor. In the add menu, we have this image sequence option. We need to go to the location where we have the image sequence. We will select them all and add them as an image strip. Here you can also add a video, it's the same thing, the process is same. In this time section, we can see the length of this strip as this duration field. It starts at frame number 1, which is this one. And it ends right here, which is frame number 250, and it should match perfectly with the frame range of the output, which is given here. You can change the frame rate as you need, like 30. And we also need to select a location, maybe desktop, to save the output. Now for this image strip, we can go to the modifiers tab. We have various options available here for post-processing. We have modifiers like hue correction, or color balance, or brightness, and other things. But our requirement is different. We want to create a slow motion by changing the speed of this animation. So we have to add an effect strip from this add menu, let us add a speed control. The effect strip is added over the input strip. We have to change the speed control type to multiply. Now we need to enter a multiplication factor here, and it will change the speed of the animation. If we want to reduce the animation speed for a slow motion, we have to enter a factor which is less than 1. And if it is greater than 1, we'll get a fast forward in the output. Let us enter a value say, 0.5. So the speed of the animation will get reduced by 50%, and the animation length will also increase with this. So select the image sequence, and go to the time section. We have to change this duration field, we need to divide this value, with the multiplication factor, that we have entered here. So the new length of the animation, will be equal to its old length, divided by this multiplication factor. Since we have used 0.5 here, the duration of the image strip, in our case, should be double of this, or 500. And as we change this, we have to also make the same change here, in the output frame range, so let us make it 500. Blender will now insert a new frame between each set of two existing frames. And it is very important, especially when we create a slow motion effect, that along with this, we also enable this interpolation option. Now the extra frames that are inserted won't be just duplicate copies, Blender will create them by interpolating the frames that are adjacent to them, which will look much more natural. We are now ready to render the sequence into a video output, and we'll get the slow motion version like this. We have added a motion blur, which gives it a better look, and the link to our tutorial on motion blur is given in the video description. So, we quickly covered today's topic. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.